Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do a, kind of a shabby chic vignette and we're going to start with this book that my sister gave me. Uh, she just thought it was such a pretty uh, color and uh, the name of it was Forever Rose. So she thought this one would be really pretty made over. So that's what we're going to do and the colors that I use on this book will be my inspiration for the colors that I'll do in this vignette. Now I've had these um, napkins for a very long time and uh, just don't use them for much in, in the way of decoupage, but um, I like the edges. And because the background is the color of this book, then I'm just gonna use the edge just a couple of the edges on each side, a couple of the corners actually. And um, because I want, because this is, uh, the name of the book is Forever Rose, I want to implement some roses into this. Now, for those of you who haven't decoupaged with napkins, you just pull uh, the extra layers off the back, and there's usually a couple of layers that you can pull off of it, and then you're just going to decoupage with that one layer of a napkin. And I've had a lot of questions about what decoupage medium that I use. Uh, when I have it, I use Mod Podge. Uh, but a lot of times I don't, when I run out, I don't replenish my stock because I find that just plain Elmer's glue works just as well. So that's what I'm using here. And you can use any ink that you want, uh, any, any brand ink that you want. I just happen to like stays on because it is true to its name. It definitely does stay put. Now I'm still working on a set of transfers that I got and they're kind of like stiff stickers, uh, but they are transfers, uh, but they have a shiny finish. And because of that, I like to really sand over the top of them and get that shiny finish off. So I love the size of them and they work well on a lot of my projects, but I wish they weren't shiny and I wish wish they weren't quite as stiff, but I'm still gonna include those uh, in my description, uh, a link to that. So if you're interested in them, you can order them. Now, if you're enjoying the beautiful piano music, uh, my friend Lori is playing, and uh, I will include a link to her channel as well.
Now I ran across the problem with this because I'm using a wooden stamp and the book is not apparently not completely flat. So I've been wanting to do this with this stamp for a while and just take it off the block because it's so large, it's easy to miss the center. So um, I just carefully removed it from the block and then used it. Uh, I just kind of went over it again and it wasn't perfect, but it, it worked out just fine. Now, for those of you who don't know, the ink that I'm using is antique, uh, antiquing ink or antique oxide, and this is an ink blending tool, and both of these you can get on Amazon. And I made a matching bookmark to go with this. I didn't get that on film, but I just made that to match. And I feel like this will be a good little decor piece. Now this is a vase that I've had for a while and I started painting it one time and got distracted and I've been meaning to repaint it. So I felt like this would be a good time uh, or a good color for this. So I'm just gonna give this one good coat covered after I already had this first coat of the white on and uh, just gave it one coat um, of the color sea glass and then uh, let that dry well and then I used a white wax over the top. And this clock is one that I had made over before and did it just in the white and uh, just hasn't sold. So I decided I would just add just a little bit of this sea glass. And I'm going to um, just kind of paint around uh, on some of the trim, but not get good coverage, not get full coverage. 
And I like the look that that gave it, and I didn't feel like I needed to do anything other than uh, sealing it with a clear wax. And this is another little picture that I had thrifted, and um, I'm just going to clean it up really good because it was very, very dirty. So I just go over it with alcohol and give it a good cleaning. And then I took some sandpaper because that's some sort of a partial transfer there on the front. And um, I'm going to remove that and, uh, and just give this two coats of the color sea glass and finish it off with a white wax. And that's all that I'm going to do to this piece. Now this is just a little Victorian glass boot that I've had in my store for a while and it didn't sell so at some point I stored it away and I'm glad that I didn't get rid of it because I'm just going to turn this into a pin cushion. So I stuffed some garbage bags down inside and then um, I'll wrap some polyfill in some of this chenille fabric and then glue that down inside and uh, that will make my little pin cushion. Now this is a little wooden horse that I've had for a little while and it was missing the tail and I had to repair with some, um, with some clay, uh, a little part on the bottom. But now I'm just going to give this two coats of the color uh, buttercream. And then I did some heavy distressing with some sandpaper and then finished this off with uh, some clear wax also before I added the tail. And to make the tail, I'm just taking some scraps of uh, torn fabric and some scraps of lace and probably about six to eight inches long. And then I'm gonna tie them together right in the center 
and then uh, and then that will make kind of like a tassel for the tail and then I'll put some glue in the hole uh, for his tail and then just kind of stick that back inside. And now there's a little raised area for his bridle. And so I just cut some strips of, or tore some strips of fabric that were really thin. And I'm just gonna glue that right over the top of where his bridle is. Now I'm gonna cut a piece of this warm and natural for the saddle and just glue that right over the top and add some trim and embellishment to it. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.